Okay guys, I'm back for another video. In this video I'm going to be reviewing the DeWalt reciprocating saw. It is DCS382. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off a little piece of metal here. It's, it's, a, it's a bolt that is sticking out. Okay, so we have a metal blade on the saw. So this is a 18 TPI blade. And for comparison, this is a 6 TPI wood blade. So metal blade, wood blade. All right. Okay, you can see on the left here is the piece that it cut off. And on the right is where it cut it off from. And it's it made it pretty pretty flush. It's going to work for for what I need it for. So the next thing I'm going to do is flip this thing over. And I'm going to cut off the top of the bolt, at least enough for me to, to lay it down flat without it sticking up. So you can see it's sticking up a little bit. So I'm going to try to shave some of that off. So that took a lot longer and there's there's nothing left of what I was taking off. Like on the last one it, it cut through it really fast and this was off of it. And now although it is pretty much level, um, you can't everything is just it just shredded it everywhere. I do want to take off one other little piece of it to make it flat. It did take a long time, and this machine does shake a lot, but it worked. Okay, let's do some cut with wood. So I got the job done. It's not as accurate as a circle saw. So this is what I cut with the the reciprocating saw that I'm reviewing and this is what I cut with my uh, Ryobi circle saw that you can see over there in the background. Alright, let's do 2x4 wood cut. from the other side. So 
So it works. Did a couple of them and it takes uh, two cuts to go through the 2x4. Okay, so... Let's cut, let's try a couple other kinds of material. You can see, you know, what I'm left with here. I mean, it looks it looks pretty decent, way better than the than the wood lattice, uh, the the thin one that I just did. Let's try this uh, cardboard stuff. This is um, cardboard that came in a, a carpet that was delivered. The carpet was around this. It's obviously going to tear through this pretty pretty easily, but just want to show you guys. Let's do that one more time. Do that one more time. I'm gonna to try to do it faster now that I've done it a couple times. Alright guys, so just want to talk about it for a couple minutes before I wrap things up. By the way, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. So first thing I'll say is the approximate length of this thing is about 16 inches, maybe 16 and a half. So I've been using this with my 20 volt and uh, it does have a safety on it. So right now the safety is on. So nothing's going to happen. If I click that safety over here. It's then going to go. It does also have a light on it. I know there's a cheaper version. That's on Amazon about $25 less. So this is on Amazon right now for $125. And, um, but there's a cheaper version that does not have a light that is uh, $99. So, um, but yeah, I got this on eBay. I ended up paying $107 plus tax. And at the time, this on Amazon was. Uh, one twenty seven ninety nine. So, so I saved about twenty dollars. It didn't come in a box. It came with just the instructions and the tool, without any blades. As an idea, this ten pack with these blades was about twenty dollars on Amazon, and so far I've just used two of them that I showed you guys. The the small wooden blade for wood, and the small metal blade for that bolt that I was cutting earlier. And I ripped through that thing pretty good. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And stay tuned. Put any requests down in the comments that you guys might, might have for a future video. And stay safe. Until next time.